fans are excited to discover what the future holds for their favorite heroes and villains since the fate of the DC Films universe seems to change on a frequent basis. Barbara Gordon the Batgirl is one among them, with her long-awaited solo feature finally getting off the ground this year. The film, which will star Leslie Grace from In the Heights as Barbara, concluded production last month with the intention of premiering exclusively on HBO Max. Now with reports circulating that the film may get a theatrical release as a result of the changes at Warner Media and Discovery. If that is the case, Batgirl will be the second DC movie to do so, after the announcement of the impending Blue Beetle film's release date late last year. It seemed obvious why Batgirl would thrive as an HBO Max exclusive. It would also ensure that the film could be released regardless of the condition of the epidemic or whether or not people felt safe sitting in a movie theater at the time. There's also Batgirl's comic-accurate links to the Birds of Prey and which may have an HBO Max exclusive spin-off feature based on Journey Smollett's Black Canary. While HBO Max's statistics are improving, releasing Batgirl only on the service would put a stumbling block in the way of a portion of those who would want to view the picture. When you include in Grace's cultural relevance as an Afro-Latina actress, Batgirl has the potential to become a real pop culture phenomenon if it is launched in the correct manner. Beyond Barbara's own rich comic history, there's also her unique status as a major member of the Batman family, which we know the film will play off now that Michael Keaton has stated that he'll reprise his role as Batman after his first cinematic comeback in The Flash. Granted, we'll have to wait another year to see Keaton in The Flash, but history has shown that there's a built-in following for his version of the character, as well as anything with the word Bat in the title. The prospect of seeing Keaton on screen again is likely to appeal to a wide audience and might pave the way for the long-awaited live-action Bat family that fans have been clamoring for. There have also been rumors that Grace's Barbara might play a bigger part in the wider DC films world, possibly joining the Justice League with Sasha Kaye's Supergirl, who will make her first appearance in The Flash. If those rumors are accurate, and Batgirl is a major member of the upcoming Justice League lineup, having her solo movie premiere in cinemas ahead of time would be essential, allowing as many fans as possible to become engaged in her before she joins the team. While it's impossible to predict what the future holds for DC's Batgirl picture, the stars appear to be nearly perfectly aligned for the production to be released in cinemas rather than exclusively on HBO Max. It would not only add another distinctive and intriguing smash to DC's ever-expanding slate of theatrical films, but it would also finally give Barbara Gordon the cinematic treatment she deserves.